You guys asked and we listened. You guys wanted to see how to fill font with photos, but multiple photos. Last time we just simply showed you with the one photo. If you guys haven't checked out that video, make sure you check it out. We'll have it linked above. So stay tuned because I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Welcome back to Design Bundle's YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal Ann. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell down below as well as the subscribe button so you guys don't miss a thing. Today, I'm gonna show you guys not only how to fill the font with photos, I'm also gonna show you guys if you were to use an SVG, for example, for a senior. So I'm gonna show you two different versions of this using multiple photos, and I'm also gonna show you guys how to upload a photo right inside of Cricut Design Space. Jumping into Cricut Design Space, you're simply gonna wanna start off with your text. Now, using a comment that we had on our previous video, I'm going to use the word grands. So grandkids, you could do the name, like I said before, you could do Samantha, Ashley, you could do Steven or Adam. You could definitely do that. You could do a last name and have all of your kids' photos in there. The possibilities are endless. But today we're gonna use grands because that was something somebody requested to see. See, I pay attention. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with text. Now, whenever you do a fill the font with photos, you definitely wanna use a nice, bold font. I'm gonna use the same font I did in our previous video, which is headline. If you guys noticed, I called it headliner the entire time. If you did, leave a comment down below because I couldn't stop hearing it when I said it. I was like, good grief, Crystal. So we are using that, and to find that, we're simply gonna come up here to font. I'm just gonna go to bookmark because I already have mine bookmark. Start to type in headliner, and you're gonna see that. See, headliner, headline. And then I'm simply just gonna type out the word grands, just like that. So grands, grandkids, I think it's perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is stretch this out nice and big just so you guys can see. When you're gonna go using multiple photos and not just one solid photo, what you wanna do is ungroup these two letters. All you're simply gonna do is come up here to advance. We're gonna click on that and you're gonna see where it says ungroup to letters. We're gonna click that. Now you're gonna see all of those over here on the right side. So you can either click on them from here and you're gonna see those get selected or just simply select them there. That way, whenever we go to slice these with the photos, we're gonna have our individual fonts. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is upload your photos. Another question that we had is how do you upload the photo? So I saved one of them so I can show you guys today. Now keep in mind, whenever you bring a photo in here, it is the exact same way if you were gonna upload an SVG or a PNG, but you definitely wanna make sure that you're saving it as a print and cut. Another tip that I can give you is, if you have a photography, like say for example, I'm taking it with my iPhone, it's, it saves it in that H-E-I-C, if I'm saying that correctly, um, and those files are quite large, or you know how whenever you do it, it has that little live view. What I recommend doing is making it as small as you can, like bringing it to a JPEG, or what I simply do is I screenshot it. So I bring it over to my desktop and I'll just do a screenshot, or you can screenshot it, you know, I think using the power button and the volume up with your iPhone and you can screenshot. Now I know there's ways to do that too, with with your Galaxy phones and all of that. Um, so definitely use that feature. But the screenshot is an even smaller file and it's just gonna upload so much faster. So like I said, I've already uploaded a majority of the photos today just to make it a little bit faster. So we've got one left. We're gonna click on browse. I'm gonna go to recent, wherever your photos are. And then so we're gonna click on our last one, which is right here. You're gonna see that it says screenshot. I'm telling you, I make it the smallest file I possibly could. We're gonna click on open, we're gonna hit complex. So if you guys go to upload it and you're noticing you're having issues, save it as a screenshot, you're gonna thank me later. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just simply going to hit apply and continue. If you need to adjust anything here, you could erase. If you wanted to, you could definitely do that. I'm fine with it. So we're just gonna simply hit apply and continue. And then we're gonna choose that print and cut image. So you know how I talked about that before. Cut image is just gonna turn into a square. We need to make sure we're selecting that print and cut and we're gonna click on upload. Now, if you need to name these, you wanna name them by the kids' name so that way you have that, you can definitely do it. Now, I picked photos from my nieces and nephews and then even from my kiddos, some funny stuff here. You're gonna see my son with his life jackets. I just thought it would be perfect. So here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select those. So if we just 
click them, you're gonna notice we get the green. We're going to select every single one that we need, which is those right there. You're gonna see them also highlighted down here. If you wanna delete something, you can just simply hit the X. And we're gonna click Add to Canvas. We're gonna bring those guys in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start to size those down individually and get them started to figure out where we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab these photos and start to move them down here just to get them out of our way. So we need to work one letter at a time. And what I may do is move my letters around and then I'll put them all back in line here in just a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do is take our photo we're gonna take our letter here so I can go right on top just like this if I wanted to. Maybe I need to size it down a little bit just like that. And then I'm going to come over here to arrange and I'm going to send it to the back so we can start to see where that's going. Now, if you need further help to be able to see through this, all you simply wanna do is take these letters here. So we're just gonna click on that G there. We're gonna come up here from a basic cut and we are gonna to go to pin. So you're gonna notice now we can see through this. Now we're gonna change that back here in a little bit. This is just temporary to help us see what we're doing. So I think we can see her pretty good right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select both of those layers right there. And now we have that slice option. We're gonna hit slice. And now we could get rid of all of those extra pieces just like that. So check that out. So we've already got one. So let's keep on moving along. So we're gonna go ahead and take our next guy here. I'm gonna get him. So maybe we'll choose this one. I'm gonna go to arrange once again, send to back. And we're gonna try this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that letter really quick. So we are gonna go to the R. I'm gonna go back up here, change that to a pin, just so I can see. I think that looks great, it's perfect. I'm gonna select both of those layers once again, and we're gonna hit slice. There we go. We're gonna delete this one here. Look at this, it's coming together, it's looking great. So we're gonna keep on trucking. Now, once again, if you feel like a photo is kind of in the way, you could move the letters out, but I think I'm gonna be able to accomplish this. This is my daughter and our dog, so I thought it was super cute. I'm gonna see if I can accomplish to get this one in the A. I may need to put this one down on the N or something maybe, or the D. We'll see, we're gonna try it on the A. So I'm gonna continue to size that down just a little bit, bring it back up. All right, so I'm gonna select those two pieces. Actually, we're gonna hit arrange, send it to the back again send it to the back. You can always select all of your photos here. See, I'm selecting those, and I can always go to arrange and send them to the back so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So you can always do that so you're not having to do this individual, by the way. All right, so once again, I'm gonna change this A here to a pen. And the same thing, if I wanted to change the remaining of these, to a pen just to do all of those at the same time, that's another option. So it looks pretty good. I've got a little piece of the dog there. Let's see if I could get him a little bit more. All right, perfect. So now we're just gonna select those two layers and hit slice. Now, if I made a mistake, I could always hit the undo and move it around again. Let me show you really fast. So we could hit undo before I got rid of that and moved it. And then you're gonna notice that it's back to one piece. So if I decide I wanna move it around and I wasn't happy with that, I could definitely do so, but I was. So we're just gonna do it again, hit slice and get rid of that piece. It's coming along, it's looking good. I got a little piece of the dog in there. This is my son. We went kayaking one day, us and all of the kids. And so my son's like, he had to carry all the life jackets down. He had all the life jackets. He put them on. I still don't even know. I send this to him randomly sometimes because it's one of my favorite photos of him. All right, so we are going to get this up here just like this. Maybe I could bring it down. I'm trying to get as many of those life jackets as we can in there so we can really see this. So, you know, and I wanna make sure, I wonder if I got them on this side. Let's see if I could bring it a little bit bigger. I'm trying to cover a lot of that in that I can. Maybe cut off, there we go, perfect. So now we're going to select it, hit slice. See how much easier it was that I set all those pictures to the back so whenever it comes time to lining that one up, we're gonna delete it, <laughs> love it. All right, so here we go. This is my daughter, Samantha. We're gonna get her right up here. This was one of our trips to Biloxi, and it's one of my favorite photos of her. She's just absolutely gorgeous. So we are going to, everybody says she is my dupe. So it's funny, because she'll paint her fingernails pink, because you know I love to paint mine pink, and um, her fiance will always tell her crystal and dupe. <laughs> 
For the last one here, this is my daughter Miranda. She's actually her twin, I've got twins. And this is when she was obviously much younger and she was in cheer, but it's one of my favorite photos too. So I just thought it would, you know, I'm trying to give you guys the feel if it was the grands, you know, if we had a bunch of little grandkids. So we're going to get her somewhere right about in here. I'm gonna select these two. We're going to simply hit slice and we're gonna get that guy out of the way. I probably should have brought that a little bit more, but I don't know, I like it, I think it's cute. So now what we're simply going to do is we are going to select all of these. We're going to reattach them now so they're one solid piece again. And then let's go ahead and add that offset layer like we did last time. So we're gonna come up here to offset and I'm gonna try to get me a little bit of an offset, something about like that. We're gonna hit apply and then you can change this to whatever color you want. So let's see, let's say for example, we did a purple or we could do a pink maybe even a yellow, a gray. I like the gray. Um, you guys comment down below what color do you guys think would look best. I like the black. I definitely would pop off of something, um, but I don't know. I don't know if I want something a little different. So let's just stick with the purple. I like it. All right, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these here and we're gonna simply hit flatten because you want this to be one file. You see how now it's one solid file. So if you're gonna use this for sublimation, it's not gonna try to separate itself out. And then another thing that we need to do is make sure that it is print and cut, which it is. So whenever we went to flatten this, I didn't have to go back in and individually change those all back to a print and cut. It simply flattened them and then now it's back to the print and cut. So just always double check that it is a print and cut file, which once again, you can see right here. Now you can see that we're getting that warning. So all I'm simply gonna do is click on that icon and use the auto resize image and get that as big as we can. All right, so now that we have this, let me talk about a few things that you could do with it. Last time I used sublimation, but you do not have to have sublimation. You can use your inkjet printers. You're gonna follow the exact same steps that I did before, but you're going to use your inkjet printer. So say for example, there is printable vinyl. I could stick this on my laptop. I could stick it on the car. I could stick it on the back of a cell phone case. You could create a sticker in a sense, or you can use something like printable HTV with your inkjet printer, which is technically like a printable, like sublimation. So you're gonna do a printable HTV and then you're gonna be able to iron that on your t-shirt. You can use a home iron. There's all sorts of different things. I'll link you guys below to some of my favorite printable HTV. Now that I've showed you guys how to do this with individual photos using something like a word like grands, now let me show you how to do it with an SVG. For this one, we're gonna use this SVG right here. And as you're gonna notice, this is an individual pieces, which is perfect for what we need. Now, I talked about in my previous video is typing out the word senior like I did grands or using an already made SVG that we have here on design bundles. But I seen this one, this was in our graduation bundle. So if you guys snag that, you guys have this file. If not, you guys can still grab this. I'll have it down below for you. But with this one here, I thought it would be cool to use the 2023 and put it into the number. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we need four photos for this. So I'm gonna go back to upload. You're gonna upload your images just like I showed you previously, but I have already inserted some in here. So I did a couple of these here. So I've got these right here. Just a couple of pictures that she's taken during her senior year. All right, so one that I really wanted to use, which you're gonna see here in just a second, is the kids throwing up their hats at graduation, but I clipped it down with my screenshot of just the hats because I didn't wanna show the people because technically I don't have their permission to put it on the computer, so I don't wanna do that. Now that I've uploaded the images and I've brought them in, I've got them all scooted out of our way just like we did last time. So what we're gonna do is, if you actually click on that SVG, we wanna go ahead and click ungroup because we want these pieces to be individual to where whenever I go to grab them, they're gonna be by themselves. So now you can see that that's highlighted. So let's go ahead and start off with her graduation photo right here. We're gonna size this down. This is my daughter, Ashley. She graduated this year. I've had such a hard time. You guys let me know if you guys have had a hard time empty nesting. If you guys do have kiddos, let me know if you guys have had a hard time empty nesting whenever your kids graduated. This is my last one and I have a really, really struggled this year. I'm doing better now. Um, but let me know if you guys have struggled as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to arrange and we're gonna send this guy to the back. 
And I'm gonna slow it down a little bit more. And then we'll move it up and over. Just trying to make sure I can get her face in there. Something like this. I may have to size it down a little bit more. Let's go ahead and take that number two and let's change it to a pin so we can visually see through there. I think we've got everything that we need on that. So we're gonna go ahead and just highlight that one there. And then we'll also grab that photo at the same time. So you can see that if I have a hard time selecting those like I normally did with the letter in the photo, you could select both of those layers on this side using your shift. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit slice. All right, so now that I've got that sliced, I can select this and we're gonna hit delete. I think that looks so, so good. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one. I think for the next one, I'm gonna go ahead and use this beach photo so I can break up. I should have did everything in red. She's, there's red here, there's red here, there's red on the hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one right here, which is the beach. So I'm gonna go ahead, well, I may save that for number three. We're gonna do that on number three, actually. So I'm gonna get the beach here, and then we are going to arrange, send to the back. I'm gonna select that number three, and then we are simply gonna go ahead and choose pin. Also, if you guys can hear a little movement around, it's my little doggo, he's down here in the background. All right, so what we're gonna do now is the same thing we did before. So we wanna go ahead and select that design, hit the shift, and then we're simply gonna go ahead and select the number three as well, and then we're going to hit slice. All right, so we're gonna be able to select that photo again, delete, ah, oh, it's looking so, so good. All right, so now for this one, I wanted to save this for the zero. I think it's gonna look good there. So this is the hats I was telling you about. I'm gonna try to get that up and over here. Arrange, send to the back. We're gonna select that zero and turn it into a pen. That way we can see, I just wanna be able to get several of those hats in there. I think that looks great. While we have that photo selected, I'm going to come over here and select the zero and we're gonna hit slice, all right? So we're gonna grab that again, we're gonna hit delete. Now we have our last one. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> this is giving me all the feels. I love it. We're gonna go ahead and send this to the back once again. I may need to size it down just a little bit. You're gonna notice where it even screenshot at the top. This is one of my first screenshots and I just screenshot the whole screen. So that's why you may see this information here at the top. All right, so we're gonna get that somewhere right there. This is where she got some awards. She got some scholarships and all of that. So this was a really fun time too. So we're going to arrange, send to the back. And I'm going to try maybe something about like that. Let's just see. I'm gonna go ahead and take that last number two. It's just easier to select these on this side. Change that to that pin, and there we go. I think that looks great, so let's try it. So we're gonna select that photo, hit select, and then we're going to, and then we're gonna grab that number two, slice for the last time, and then we're gonna get this out of the way. There we have it, how cool is that? Now, you can change these, so we how we have like class of, I could actually change this to red, so if I wanted to do red, so that way it could be red and black, that would be really cool as well. So you can definitely personalize this however you would like. Now, with these, again, I may wanna add an offset, and if I wanted to do that, I could simply grab the numbers here, we're gonna go up here to the offset again, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get me a very small offset where it's not gonna be bumping into anything, something about like that. We're gonna hit apply. And then for this one here, we're gonna hold on to that, and then we're gonna hit shift, and we're gonna try to select that. So you see how it grabbed both of those pieces there, and we're gonna hit that flatten again. So that is going to give us I'm gonna change the offset over here to a basic cut, that way we can see the color there. And then I'm going to leave it as black, I think. So let's go ahead and arrange and send that to the back. I like it, looks good. So now if I come up here and I click offset, it's gonna have that same exact, we don't have to mess with it. It's the exact same number. We're gonna hit apply. We're gonna come up here, change it to basic, and then arrange, send it to the back. So there's a little bit of work involved with these things, but it's totally worth it. We only got two more, so I'm gonna repeat the same thing. Offset, apply. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna change it to a basic, send it to the back, and then we're gonna get our last one. So come up here, offset, apply, and then we're simply going to change it to the basic, and then arrange, send it to the back. Now, we're gonna do the same thing we did before where we flatten this because this is going to be a print and cut. 
Two ways that you can do this. We could actually go ahead and select everything together. So if this is gonna be one print and cut file, we could select everything and we're gonna hit flatten. So now we would go over here to that warning once again and we would choose auto resize and then we would simply send it over to the printer. I'm gonna show you that really quick just to show you what that would look like. We're gonna click auto resize and then we're gonna hit make it. So whenever we go to print this out, say for example, this is gonna be printable HDV or this was gonna be a sticker for the laptop or whatever, maybe I'm gonna make a sign that goes out in the yard and I'm going to put this on one of those flags. This is what it's going to look like. Now all you would do at this point is simply print this guy out and cut it with your Cricut. But we're gonna show you another way. So we're gonna go ahead and hit cancel. And then I'm gonna undo this a couple times so we can get back to where we were. So we're gonna hit undo, undo. So now we have all those layers again. So see for example that I just want the two, the zero, the two, the three. I want those pieces to be print and cut, but I want this border here as well as class of to be an HTV so I can do multiple pieces. So what I would do is I would take and flatten those pieces like we did before with the offset. So I'm gonna grab the photos here. So I'm gonna grab this first one here and then gr grab its corresponding offset, which you can see it grabbed in that same spot. And then we're gonna hit flatten. And so I would repeat that same process. So I'm gonna do that for this one here. I'm gonna choose the zero, flatten, grab our next two, just like this, flatten. Last one, we're gonna go ahead and do three. So we're gonna click on that now with the three and hit flatten. Instead of selecting the two, zero, two, three and attaching those to where they cut in one place, which I'll show you in just a minute, you could actually leave them individual. So how they're staying like this, we could go over here to make it. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to get a little bit more real estate. So it's just gonna kind of push them in together, letting you have a little bit of a bigger design, if you will. So you're gonna notice it's gonna take two sheets for that. Or we could simply do this. We could select all of our numbers here, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit flatten. So now if we went to make it, so now you're gonna notice we're getting that warning. So we're not able to keep these much bigger. We're actually gonna to have to size these down. So we would have to auto resize image, which I would wanna do all of that at the same time. So I would come over here, we'd click on that here, auto resize image. And so now if I go to make it, we're gonna choose on the mat, we're gonna hit confirm. They're gonna all stay together. So if you're wanting these to be one sheet to where I'm gonna weed them out, and they're gonna go on there, you could definitely do that as well. But I would recommend keeping them individual. So I'm gonna go ahead and back this back up a little bit. I would recommend keeping them individual so you can get a much bigger design. So there we have that. Now, also too, if I wanted to make this even bigger, so I was making for this for a really big sign, I could actually even stretch this out because you notice I'm still not getting that warning because even if it takes me four sheets of printable vinyl or printable HTV, these could be individual by themselves. So if you're making a great big uh, poster board or something like that, you could definitely do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really quickly. You're gonna see that these pieces on the side here are gonna be individual and then you're gonna have these pieces pieces um, cut together, obviously, because it's one file. But if you wanted to select these two pieces together, you would wanna go ahead and click attach. So that way they would cut out at the same time. So if we go over here to make it, we're gonna choose on the mat, and then we're gonna hit confirm, which is a 12 by 24, because I made this so big. You're gonna notice that these will be individual sheets, like I was telling you, because they are bigger. This allows us to get a much bigger design. And then our black border pieces are together. If you think you're gonna have a hard time lining those up, if not, save material and cut those individual. And then you're also gonna see the class of, you're gonna see that that's gonna to cut together. So it is that easy to create an awesome design here using an SVG or using font. Both of these that I have used, the font and the SVG is linked down below. And like I said, if you guys grab that graduation bundle, you guys have already got this one, so check it out. And you could do this with many things. So you could do something that says happy birthday or summertime. You could do something for the beach and put all of the kids' beach photos in there. The possibilities are endless. Honestly, I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you did, comment that down below. Let me know if you're gonna be trying this. What was your favorite piece? If you guys have learned something new, let me know all of that stuff in the comments below. Don't forget, if you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you guys don't miss a thing.